Ian, from my experience, I already know the best way to handle this project. So, we will meet daily to track how you're doing implementing my solution. That would, right, would be directive. It is very, very tempting to lean in that direction, even do that. Here's what I've noticed about managers. They are busy. <laughs> When's the last time you talked to somebody, uh, one of your colleagues here, and said, how's it going? And they said, oh, actually, uh, it's kind of quiet. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, I've done my projects, my staff is working well, I've done all the filing I could find, and I'm actually getting about an hour and a quarter a day reading all, catching up on all, all those professional journals that I've not been able to get to. <laughs> That lets me sleep on the go train now instead of reading them. It's wonderful and kind of waiting for something. Of course not. You are really busy. And when it, you're busy, directive is much faster. It takes less time. Second reason, Rick probably knows the answers. I'm sure he does in most cases. He's maybe done the job. He's got a pers bigger perspective. He's wiser. Maybe he's older, been on the planet longer, has a better perspective of the work. He's probably thinking if he does this, this, and this, it's solved. <coughs> so it's very tempting when you know the answer <laughs> not to give it because you're busy and you know the answer. Now, I brought duct tape along if that's helpful, <laughs> if you need it. Okay. Third reason, and I think this is a little more subtle. Think about this. Your key success, success factor as a manager, other than your intelligence and your good looks, is your ability to identify and solve problems. Managers are problem solvers. And so what I have done here, by coming to Rick in my review and having a performance gap, I've given him a problem. Oh, problem, what could Ian do? And he's right into solution mode. So he might have had a meeting this morning over here before my review, working with my, his team or a group of colleagues, doing the problem solving thing, having that hat on, working his success factor, doing the thing that has got him to the level he's at now. And then he comes in to have a meeting, a performance review with me, and he's got to sit down and go totally counterintuitive to his success factor. He's got to not solve the problem, get me to solve the problem, put the monkey over here. My rhetorical question for you as we go through the morning is, how comfortable are you giving this up? Sure, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> how com are you part of the problem? When you try to not direct and coach and facilitate them to direct with your prodding and with your support and with your discipline and frustrating them sometimes if they go off on tangents. How comfortable are you not coming up with the answer and not giving it? If that causes you anxiety, you may find you want to relieve your anxiety more than develop an independent monkey-holding employee. You may be part of the problem.